this video, I'll be collaborating with Julia, a biomedical engineering student here at UBC, and we'll be showing you a day in our life. Hi guys, good morning. My name is Julia. I'm a second year biomedical engineering student at UBC, and I'm also another engineering YouTuber. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the day in the life of a biomedical engineering student. This is a collab with Engineering Stories. So right now it is about 8 o'clock. I was going to go do some work, but to be honest, today it is a little bit noisy in the house. So I think I'm just going to go get out um, and maybe go to campus to study a little bit for today and have a little bit of a change of scenery. So yeah, right now I'm just going to go pack my bag and get ready to go. Good morning everyone. It's almost 7 o'clock and I'm on my way to my first lecture of the day. Welcome to first class of the day. Today we're talking about uncertainty analysis. Also look how nice is it today outside. On the outside, that's there to accommodate for that. Okay, if you don't do that, you'll end up with distortion. All your work pieces, you should, you should, you should think about it. Right. Um, what I've drawn on here is Hi guys, so I just got here on campus. So right now I'm at the UBC NAS just doing some work. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, right now it is 10 o'clock a.m. So I'm just gonna go work on a tutorial assignment. Um, VMEG 220, which is an electromag electromagnetics class. And basically we just have a tutorial assignment. So I'm just gonna work on this for like a couple hours, probably till 12 o'clock and try and get a decent amount done. So this is what the tutorial assignment looks like. So we're learning about magnet magnetization. I did take like um, some notes while I was there during tutorial. So we're just gonna um, finish doing the questions and hopefully hand this in by the end of the day. Hey everyone, now it's 11. I'm about to head to my second lecture, which is material science. Hi guys, so it is now 12 o'clock. So I've been working on this tutorial for about two hours now and we're just about finished. So I like finished doing all of the questions um, and I think it looks about good. It's not due to Wednesday, so we do have a little bit of time. I'm just gonna be calling some of my friends later just so that we can go over the answers together um, just to make sure we have like all the questions answered and to make sure all of our thoughts are right. So yeah, this is what the assignment looks like. We really just do have like a lot of graphs because we had to do some programming for this. But yeah, so right now it is 12 o'clock. So I think I'm just going to go take a little bit of a break and go and eat some lunch before my lab that's coming up. So it's 12 o'clock and it's time to get some lunch. There's like noodles in the wrap as well as some veggie and some meat and here we have some peanut butter look at the sun look at the blue sky i'm gonna go out for a walk hi guys so i am back at the nest now um it is almost one o'clock so i'm gonna go ahead to my next um lab so this is my lab for cellular biophysics so basically what labs are they're just more um engaging zoom calls compared to lectures because you can usually ask more questions or the prof will like go over like tutorials and how to use different applications so it's definitely way more engaging than lectures so that's about an hour long so we're gonna go ahead there right now let's go it's currently 3 o'clock. The weather is super nice today and we are going on a bike ride. So this is the current lab in the box toolkit that I've been using for my design classes. As you can see, there's a lot of really useful tools here like saws and hammer and metal steamer. Those are really handy when we do any sort of online work at home. We also have these components, they will be such as motors, wheels, and they will be using for our design projects. As you can see it's kind of a mess here. 
because I'm trying to do some gear reduction prototyping just to test out the gear and the motor here. Stay tuned! Hi guys, so I just got out of that lecture. Um, right now, it is now 2 o'clock. So I'm just gonna go and head to my vector calculus lecture. So that is about two hours long. Um, today on the schedule, it says we're going to be learning about Maxwell's equations. So yeah, I'm just gonna be taking notes for that class. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm starting to get a little bit tired because it's the afternoon slump. But we're gonna push through because this is my last lecture of the day. Cool down, honey buns! <laughs> hey guys, so now it is about 7 o'clock, so I'm gonna go ahead onto a Zoom call with my friends. And we're just gonna quickly go over an assignment before handing it in. So basically, we just have a tutorial for my electromagnetics class. So we have tutorials every two weeks. So we're just gonna go over that before we hand it in. And basically, it's just a little bit of physics and math. So we're gonna go do that. Hi guys, so now it is 10 o'clock. I just got back from campus. Um, yeah, I forgot to film myself in the car. I was gonna show you guys I was getting in the car on the way back home, but I'm very tired. But um, yeah, so now it's 10 o'clock. Um, I'm back home now. As you can see, I'm no longer on campus. So yeah, that is the end of my day. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead to sleep now after I like wash my face and everything, do my skincare routine. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah, see ya. It's currently 11 p.m. It's getting pretty late, so I'm gonna head to bed now after my skincare routine. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.